dead set now. This is the first day of comps and a beautiful sunrise at Toowoomba. And the first of many, 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 many barbecues. Good morning. And look who's here, Margie Wargi. In hangar number two, Graham King's organising the judges for the day in the main clubhouse. The competitors are also being given their orders as well. Yeah. Gotta get a first score. Trying to score 30. There was no bounce. No bears, no. We don't need a rebound, that. Yeah. yeah, right. So we got one there, Graham? We got one, yeah. We finally got one. Right. There must be a very strong wind up there. Probably the next 10 or 15 knots. Who's yeah, flying? Ah, um, the old boy. Glenn. Glenn. Tim. Yeah, he's pretty famous. He is. <laughs> he is the flying goose. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make it. Beautiful. 40 or 50 points in that for sure. No worries. <laughs> Into round two, which is wonderful. Well, it's running very smoothly and very quickly. It's going very well. They're not succeeding too well this morning. The wind up there is a bit rough, so it's testing them all. Competitions are being run the same as they are in Hobart, which means we're doing one round with one judge, and the second and third round, they're doing a touch and go and going right through, and it's working really well. The competitors seem to like it, and certainly the judges do too. The air judges aren't in the air as long. Touchdown in here, touchdown in there. Is that a bounce? Yeah. The first one we've done today, the conditions were sinking a fair bit. Now that the wind has come up and the, uh, the sun has heated up the runway, despite marking position changes to the second or third course. How are we going today, George? Ah, it's interesting. Around the year with the small. Yeah, it's all. How's it going like that? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible day. <laughs> all us land loving, seafaring people can't handle the 2000 feet. That's what stuffed us up, I think. Yeah. Being number one is the worst position. <laughs> it was a bit hard. I had to go out and find where it was all going wrong. Found it. <laughs> and then it all got worse. Just look what the mouse brought home. My Alex crown. <laughs> <laughs> Conditions are catching a few of them, but otherwise they're pretty good. Not for here. Not for here, no. Might be Brisbane. <laughs> Something about aviation, going somewhere, competition. Uh, racing between aircraft and so forth, and uh, all those things put together, I reckon, make the big attraction as far as going away somewhere, whether it's to the mainland or somewhere in the other part of the state. Altogether, about 20, 21 people come up to Queensland to take part in this year's Toowoomba AMAX, and I think, as far as I can make out, no one hasn't had a good time at this point. Yeah, the wind was just, just enough to make it interesting for everyone, and uh, not much crosswind in it most of the time. But it's been, the team's done really well, particularly the guys on the fence, I'm very impressed with them. And the judging, I think, has been pretty good. Yeah. Did they give you a plan of Aki last night, guys? Yeah. And it's off to Aki for the formation comps. Yeah, they're getting me. I'll just do the other quality, 1500. But you'll be forever more, you'll be way up there. You've got to come no, round on the curve. Yeah, no, no, he's up there. to avoid the Toowoomba airspace. We had two teams in the formation, our Trans-Tasman team of Sue, Bernie and Peter, and our second team of Don, Ed and Mal. The club has been competing in ALAC since the 1970s, when Chris Davies won our first medal, a bronze in the spot landing. And after the aerobatics, it's back to Toowoomba, 
and the spot landings. 28 in the streamer cut, I think 37 in the forced and about 34 in the forced, so excellent. There's been a record number of entries this year, which is marvellous. Yes, and we're looking forward to Bundaberg next year.